Come in. Come in. Right? I'm hearing a lot. And there are going to be a lot of different perspectives out here. Right? There are a lot of different approaches to addressing our situation. <coughs> there are a lot of different approaches. We're not here to debate about which one is the best, which one is right, which one is wrong. But I'm gonna add something to I'm gonna add something to this discussion. Process creates product. Right? Say it. Say say process creates product. If you have a product, there must be a process that created that product, right? If you consistently get the same product for hundreds of years, there must be something in the process that's creating that product, right? But because we haven't analyzed the product properly, the process eludes us, right? If we don't understand the process, the product eludes us. We'll make failed attempt after failed attempt after failed attempt to fix our situation and then wonder why it never gets fixed. The microcosmic engagement can never be different than what the macrocosmic is, right? And in societies, the macrocosmic engagement is dominated by those with resources and power. You can't tell me about what we doing if you ain't addressing what they doing. We can talk to us all day. And you know what's gonna happen tomorrow? We gonna kill each other tomorrow. When you talk about black folks, there's a phenomenon called slavery. Where the nigga was created. I know that language might offend y'all, but that shit is nowhere near as offensive as the conditions. The nigga was created in slavery. And I'm gonna speak passionately about it for a reason, right? Because we get upset when we see the niggas, but we don't kill the nigga machine. Y'all know why? Because it's profit. It's profitable to cater to the nigga machine. It's profitable to do the work of the nigga machine. It's easy to highlight the niggas, but it's hard to challenge the nigga machine. We scared to challenge the nigga machine. You know why? Because those that create, perpetuate, grease, and motivate the nigga machine will kill your ass, and you know it. You know that the police department is the military arm of that dynamic. And if you ain't saying that, you ain't saying nothing. Because you know why? It'll be our fault at the end of the day. Yeah, we got responsibility. Self-determination should be our object objective. At the end of the day, only us can save us. But I tell you what, in order for us to save us, we better have correct analyzation. You can't get to a destination if you don't have the proper coordinates. The coordinates, right? You need a GPS to get to the right place often when you don't know how to get there, right? But there's a whole process that goes along with that GPS. Y'all see the mapping cars that drive around, right? They're mapping the cities for satellite readings and all of those things. But you know what the slave only understands? The slave only understands the product. The slave don't understand the process. So the slave thinks, thinks things were made and created it was just that way. We don't understand the work that goes into it, and that's important. That's important. That's important. If we don't understand the process for stopping this, we'll be having this conversation a hundred years from now. In a different form, we'll be killing each other from spaceships. There's a thing called the 13th Amendment. This thing was never designed to be anything other than what it is right now. It's designed for this baby to die on the sidewalk. That's the intent of the way this process works. Crime is necessary for this apparatus. 
capitalism. There you go. Teach you on that. Lack, scarcity, poverty is necessary for this apparatus. You can tell what a society believes in by where it invests its resources. When you tell me you can't fund children's programs, you got to close down schools, but you can put 75%, 80% of the budget into paramilitary policing of our communities, you telling me where your priorities rest. If you, can pro if you can prevent it, you wouldn't have to police it. So ask the question, why is there no investment in prevention? Because there's no will to prevent it. Prison is an industry. When we were so-called released, they had convict leasing laws. Jim Crow. We exist under the same systems. They only tweak it a little bit. And because we don't understand the process, we fall for the tweak. We fall for the tweak. And so we're having the same conversation right now. That the Panther Party was having how many years ago? 50, right? 50. We're rolling up on the 50th anniversary, and it's worse now. But you don't know it's worse. You know why you don't know it's worse? Because there is an oversaturation from the macrocosmic dynamic to get you excited about the Warriors. I know I'm going to hurt y'all motherfucking feelings. Excuse me. But I'm going to tell y'all like it is, right? Y'all know what the Colosseums were? Y'all know the use of Colosseums in the Roman dynamic? In the Roman political system? You know what it was used for? To keep your ass distracted from the games that they was playing on your ass. Now, I, if, if, if that's where you at, that's where you at. I told y'all I might step on some toes, I'm sorry, right? You are right. But I'm speaking from the pain. I watched this baby die yesterday, and I ain't gonna play no games with y'all. I ain't gonna play no games with y'all. Yes, sir. It's designed to keep you distracted and disengaged. When you root for players that make millions of dollars and you ain't got shit. You don't make a dime. When the courtside seats cost sixteen to thirty thousand dollars, how the fuck you gonna tell me the babies can't get saved? Right? If we gave up some of them goddamn seats, we could save this baby. But what we want to do is we want to indulge in the bullshit and then come out here and say, "Well, I'm, we, we could do a little bit. Now nah, we could do more." That's it. That's it. You know what the will of a people is based on its investment in itself. Don't mean to step on no toes. I hope y'all love me after this is over. Yeah. Right? But I love y'all, so I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll go home and have y'all mad with me, but I guarantee this, right? I guarantee that sometime, some point, something I'm saying gonna hit you. Right? And I'm willing to sit, I'm willing to bet on that. Thank you. I'm willing to bet my relationships on that. I'm willing to bet your liking and disliking of me on that. So, I'm gonna say again. If you understand the process, you understand the product. Now I'm gonna put it on your shoulders heavy. If you control the process, you control the product. If you control the process, you control the product. So every one of our aspirations should be to control the process. When they tell you you can't, if they tell you they ain't, if they, if they run this game to you, that they ain't gonna fund children's programs. You tie City Hall down brick by brick. You tear down brick by brick. You don't let a city council person, a mayor, walk these streets without you being in their ass. If they don't give it to you, take it. It's yours. The power is with you. 
The people always are the power. They have tricked you to believe the counter. They have tricked you to believe that they have tricked you to subjugate, to relinquish your power. It's an illusion. If you can't vote it in, you march it in. What? If you can't march it in, look here. What's understood ain't got to be said, right? What's understood ain't got to be said. You take power. Ain't nobody going to give it to you. Right? So operate on that premise, and this will stop. Because I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I'm going to ask this question. How many of y'all really believe that this can stop? Really, honestly. Uh, y'all believe it? I'm going to know by what you do. Now, I just took a mental photograph of all y'all that you had your hands up. I'll be out here. I'll be out here. I don't do this. I, this, this is rare. I don't do this. I'm moving. Right? So I'm going to see y'all. I'm going to know if you're doing it. I'm going to know if you believe that it can change. Right? If you believe it, it's going to be shown in your what? In your actions. You invest in what you believe in. Right? Thank you. Thank you.